This movie is going to be on Survey by Grid. To start, let's first twirl this around and look at the front of the site. And you can see that it looks relatively cleaned up. And the only thing left that I don't want to contour later are the ferro spheres. There's four of them. And I probably don't want to uh, contour these parking stall little stops. Okay. So, with that said, let us go back here to coordinates. Let's delete all. And we're going to do another survey bay grid, but of a smaller area of this point cloud. It says delete all coordinate points. We're going to pick OK. And there they go. Now, let's go to the Action tab and come down and pick Perimeter. So I picked that, and it says left click to start perimeter. So I left pick, come up here, pick, come over here, pick, and pick, and this will be the last one, pick, and then it says right click to end perimeter. That highlights the area that I want to contour <clears throat> for this site. And what I want to do is pick cloud. That feature is also in basic. I'm in advanced point cloud at this time. And we are going to pick cloud to contour. And it's done. Okay. We'll say none. Everything is back to normal. We've got a project. We're going to do save. We're going to close this view <clears throat> and come up here and we're going to pick this one here, hit return, and pick view. And, it, and we'll just go ahead and pick the OK. And there we go. Now, let's go to the Action tab. Oh, before we do that, let me turn this around. And let's, I want to remove these three stops at the parking stalls here, because I don't want to contour that. So we're going to come up here, and we're going to do Window. And I'm just going to pick a window right about there. Pick another window. And one last window here. And I'm just going to take a look at this. And that's an anomaly trash or something. I don't want to contour that either, just in case it accidentally gets picked up. And I also want to grab these right here. So I'm going to use, instead of window, I use perimeter. I'll get the bipod. Right, and that's one. And we have three more to do. And there's the next bipod. And be a little more careful <laughs> when I pick. And let's go to window. Whoop. Not exactly what I want to pick. I want to pick perimeter. So we'll just come right there. And I'm going to just 
grab a little window here. I panned it and moved it. Okay. And then we have one last one right there. And we'll just do window. I'll just grab the whole area. Pick there and pick there. Okay. Uh, let's come over here. Do new region. There it is. Let me come up here, pick rename, and we'll just call this um, not to contour. <laughs> How about that? And we'll hide it. Okay. And if I window out, those are all the areas that I want to contour and, and so forth. So um, <clears throat> let's make a new cloud. So I come over to action and I do cloud. And it's, you know, you actually have to have something selected. Now I pick here, grab everything. And now when I pick cloud, it comes up with the cloud name and I'll say cloud to contour and I'll put a zero two on there. All right, we'll pick the exit button. do none and now I'll close it modify create new uh, let's uh, cancel that out what it's saying is really save it I made two regions or made one region and one cloud so I definitely want to save that region to that cloud you can up you can save up to 30 classifications or regions uh, per cloud and I'm going to pick this guy right there. And now we uh, come down here, and there is the one I want to view. And do survey by grid. So it says uh, just pick OK. And now we're going to go to action, come to, down to points, and scroll all the way down, and there it is. The new feature, Survey by Grid. It is both an advanced point cloud and basic point cloud. So I pick Survey by Grid. In this case, I'm going to tell it to do every five feet and point within to, to uh, search for the points. I'm going to say an eighth of a foot, 0.125. And I want it to average um, elevation method. It says average, so that will be... The average, if you pick the lowest, I think I've removed everything so I don't have to pick the low, lowest. Um, well, I think I'll pick the lowest. It's the safest. It always picks the lowest elevation that it finds in the area of uh, every five feet of 0.125. And we'll just put a spot shot on there. And I'm going to pick OK. It's going to create a lot more points than it did before. <laughs> and there you go. Now, as I window up, it will be easier to see these points. Yes, there you go. So every five feet, um, maybe blue is a little tough for everybody to see. But uh, you can see it's 934, 934, 934. This is in Ohio. So the elevation is a little steep. And there you go. I'm curious, is anything going to pull? Nope. Okay. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Anything hit the wall? Yeah, we had points right on the wall. So here we had 935.4, and we have 934.2. So you can see that these wall sh shots, 935, actually that one got picked up in the wall, but this one... Here did 934.89 and so forth. So 
Um, that was a quick presentation of how the um, survey by grid command works. And I'm going to do end action right now, go to project, and you can see we just created 678 points um, to be used for contouring purposes. And now the last step is to essentially uh, draw the bottom and the top of the retaining walls, and that's in another movie. Just wanted to show you how quickly you can create a grid of survey points after you have used regions to remove any unwanted areas like the tripod and the spheres from the Faro control for points and those parking lot stalls stops. I'm going to save it, close this, and exit. Oh, let's just do this and go down and do field to finish. Or why don't we just do draw? And we'll put them in the points layer. Okay. Points have been drawn in CAD. You don't have to actually exit, but I'll exit out. Save the changes, yes. And <clears throat> go up to view and do extents. And here, let's do this. I didn't put them in a coordinate file. That was my mistake. Update drawing from coordinate here. Let's just pick OK. Window the points. And now let's list them. And you can obviously see there are 678 points. <laughs> Forgot to give them a coordinate file, or I didn't even pay attention to what the coordinate file was. And now I'm going to replot them. so that uh, they are easier to see at 10 scale. Okay, and there you go. And uh, if I come up here and do shrink wrap entities, perimeter 2D polyline, and then let's just go to the survey module and contour this. Triangulating contour, and we uh, layer will be CTR, and oh, triangulation, I'll do try. Faces, right at 10, not necessary, and use inclusion exclusion, we'll go to contour, and we'll just do CTR 1, and CTR 5. We'll see if we have 5 foot contours. And we're going to do Bezier smoothing. And let's go to labels and let's do label index contours only. And we'll call this uh, CTR 5 and CTR 1. And it says what's the inclusion perimeter? It's that polyline there. Hit return, no exclusion, and we don't have too many contours. <laughs> 935, <clears throat> and um, here let's let, freeze the uh, tri layer, the triangulation layer, right there. And you can see that uh, the site was relatively flat, but you get nice contours. Uh, from these spot elevations, and um, and that's actually the easiest way to get a contour map um, from a point cloud, because when you have too much data, you actually get little little zigzags um, all over the area because of the slight um, undulations of the millions of points. And that ends this movie.